Hi to all. Today I am going to show you a detailed review about the server manager in Windows Server 2016. So what you are looking is the Windows Server 2016 server manager. So here you can see here this is the server 2016 technical preview 4. This is the server manager which you have in the Windows Server 2016. So this is the dashboard which you have as similar as it is in the Windows Server 2012 and Windows Server 2012 R2. So there are no lot of there are no changes which was made in the Windows Server 2016 when compared to the Windows Server 2012 in the Server Manager dashboard. So both are similar, like that you can add roles and features, you can add other servers to manage, you can create the server groups and you can connect to the server to the cloud service and you can see this tab you can see more and more details that is the new which was new configurations which is available in the server manager in this uh, windows server 2016 and here too you can have more and more detailed features which is available i will just click here so here you can see it will go directly into a browser so you need a valid internet connection to open these links so let's hide it so this is the thing which you have like the server groups for example if you add more and more servers you can see all the event services and the performance related issues here so this tab is a local server so you can see all the event services and performance related issues in this tab and the roles and features can be seen here like events groups and everything can be seen here so this is the browsing so here you can browse to the specific location of the server manager like if i want to go to the see it will change so if i want to go to any other place like can see it was directly gone into this dashboard so like this you can browse for the locations in this server manager it was like a browser it will have a complete view about all your servers and you can also manage and you can also completely install the roles remove the roles you can also manage the servers which are all available in the non GUI mode that is if you have installed the nano server without the GUI mode you can completely manage it here so let's go to the left panel so here you can see the dashboard on the local server so it will show you the all the details about the local server so which I have installed here so you can see all the details like computer name it was connected to a domain or not and the windows update and the update last updated uh, date and the different status error reporting and time zone IP address details and the operating system version and the hardware information and the processor and the memory information everything will be seen here so here you can have an option here like shutdown local server windows powershell computer management etc etc like if you want to open the computer manager point of the local server just click it here so it was taking too much time since it was a freshly installed server it will take some time so here you can see the local manager computer management sorry local computers computer management so here you can see the event viewer task scheduler and local groups everything here you can see here and for example I want to disable the remote management here you can just click it here and it will show you the option I am just going to disable it and here you can see a detailed view that is the uh, options related to this remote management like what will happen when you disable or enable this option so I'm just going to select OK and here you can see it was 
disabled I'm just going to enable the remote desktop so it will directly go into the option so I am just clicking OK OK and I want to refresh it so you see it was enabled again so like that you can easily manage all your local server information in this one tab that is a browser like interface and next thing is you can scroll down to see the events which was related to the local server we are, what we are seeing is the local server so it will show only the events related information and next thing is you can see the services related information and the next thing you can see is the best practice analyzer BPA here you can see if your configuration is made by you the there are some concepts which will be predefined by the Microsoft there are some requirements which will be predefined by the Microsoft and those things will be analyzed and uh, shown here I have not installed any of the services or roles here so if I install it will show the details in an elaborate manner and the next thing you can see is the performance like CPU usage and the memory available and the next thing is the roles and features which you have installed Here you can see the roles and features which are installed. By default, these roles and features are installed in this system. So, for example, if you want to remove the PowerShell, you can just right click and you can remove the role or feature here. So, this is all about the local server details which was given here. Let's go to the next. Here you can see the server group here only one server was attached here let's try to add so this is the server filter criteria let's try to filter something so if you see that I have only attached only one server here so it was difficult for me to filter because if I had two to three servers attached you can query and you can use the filter to search for your servers so let's go to the next thing so here you can see the event services about all the servers which you have group and the best practice analysis performance and the roles and features so it will be easy for you to manage all your servers which are grouped or which are connected to this server manager and so files and storage server which is a default service which has installed while installing the operating system so here you can see volumes disk and the storage pools which you have created so right now I am not having any storage pools and I have created only the VM I have installed it in a VM so you can see here right yeah it was showing here the bus type is SAS and uh, I have installed it in the VMware so it is showing correctly and you can also create a new volume you can bring it online or take it offline or reset I know I'm having only one hard disk here so there's no other option I can do so I'll just detail you about this option in my next video I'll just explain more about the file storage uh, options in my next video right now we are seeing only the server manager and its usage so there are more and more options which are available here and these are the options which are available in the dashboards on the local and all servers options let's go to this menu option and here you can see a refresh button and here you can if you see I am clicking the refresh button it was a refreshing as a communicating with all the servers I know I'm having only one server so it was communicating only with my server but it will try to search for other services which was connected to this server manager so you can see this red button here in both the servers in all server the local server is part of the all server so it was showing in both the thing let's see the so here you can see this service was stopped what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the service
processor is just not starting so I think it will take that some time so let's wait you can go to other options so here you can see the flag option and it will show you what all the op what are all the perform activities you are doing it will be shown here what are all the thing which was in the running state which will be shown here so here you can see I have started the service and still it is showing it is starting the service and you can see the detailed task details about the notifications and the details which you are doing the activities which you are doing will be completely seen in this option that is from the flag button and manage manage here you can add and roll features remove roles and features you can add server circuit server boot or you can use the server manager properties here and you can go for the tools here you can see more and more options like windows server backup powershell options firewall stack scheduler more more and more features are given here here you can use this option to manage all these servers and the next option is the view I'm just going to reduce the view here here you can see the view it was reducing it was showing it in a bigger it was zooming so there are more more options which are available in the server manager dashboard on the server manager itself so you can mostly use it in a very well manner without any issues and here you can see an option in the address bar like what are the locations you have transferred here you can go and you can go to the location in an easy manner and now here you can see the flag and here you can see all services have been started successfully so here you can see the red mark has been gone and another thing you can see is here you can see the date and time which you have lastly activated or lastly communicated with the servers so this communicated lastly at the 20th one 2016 that is 11 22 a.m. here you can see the 11 23 a.m. I'm just going to refresh it let's wait and see the time which it has accessed the servers So it will take more and more time to communicate with all the servers if you have more and more servers like 10 to 20 servers it will communicate for uh, at least 20 to 20 minutes and it depends on the service which you have on the location which you have so here you can see the time has changed and the new service error has been created like the same service has been stopped again so this is how you will do and it will directly communicate with all the server and show you all the results here itself so it was used in if it was used in a proper way you can use it in a well efficient manner and in my next video I will show you how to install the active directory and how to manage it in the Windows Server 2016 and if you like my video thank you for watching just subscribe for more and more active directory videos and the server videos so thank you for watching thank you